Hi, art students. This is Mrs. Myers, and today we are going to be making a unique pet drawing. So the first things that you need is a piece of white paper. Um, regular size is fine, and I'm just turning it sideways for what I'm gonna do. And you need something to draw with. I would recommend that you start off with a pencil in case you need to erase or to make any changes. I'll be using a marker so that you'll be able to see my lines better. All right, so how do you make a unique pet? We're gonna be doing it by adding five different um, animal features, okay? To, and combining them into one unique pet. So I just chose, um, I'm gonna be choosing some different animals that I like their features and putting them all together. So I'm gonna start off by making um, a panda face. So um, I'm going to do the shape of a panda's face, which is almost like a circle. But it comes out a little bit wider around the bottom. Okay. And we want our um, animals to be nice and big on our paper. So I made it a almost about almost half of the paper. And then I'm going to do the panda mouth, which is round and round. And you will be able to use whatever animal or animals that you want to use to make your unique animal pet. And I'm gonna just do those rings that are around the panda's eyes, because I wanna really show that it's a panda. At least part of it is. Okay. Now, the eyes I'm going to choose are gonna be a kitten's eyes. Those big, big kitten eyes that look at you when they're sad or they want your attention. So I'm gonna do really big circles. Do the little circle to make them look watery. Okay. And then, instead of panda ears, now I'm gonna move on to a different animal. I'm gonna choose some bunny ears, because bunny ears are nice and floppy and big. So I'm going to do some bunny ears coming out. And I want my bunny ears to kind of flop down. inside of the ear. Okay, I just want to give it a little hair kind of in the middle. So I'm gonna do a little zigzag line to show a little tuft of hair at the top. All right, now I'm really going to go into a different type of animal to make it really look unique. And I'm gonna do the body. And I'm gonna choose the body of a clownfish. Totally different species, right? No mammal this time. I'm gonna do um, a fish body. So I'm gonna go around to make it nice and fat. Come up and around. And then for the tail, I'll come out. a little bit around the tail. I'm also gonna do some of these fins on the bottom. Do a little frill around. Do a fin here. back. 
Now I want it to really look like a clownfish, so I'm gonna do some of those stripes. So another animal, so I have the panda face, the kitten eyes, the bunny ears, that's three, and then the clownfish body, which is four. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add one more animal because we gotta have five different animal features. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the antlers of a deer. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw those. And there we go. I have my unique pet that I have created out of five different animal features. Panda, kitten, bunny, fish, and the deer. All right, you guys, I can't wait to see your unique pet that you have made out of five different animals. Bye.